Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Biomed. Welcome to the Biomed Cafe channel. In this channel, biological and medical contents are presented in a simple, classified, and summarized form. The topic of this video is phospholipid movements in the cell membrane. Please subscribe to this channel and if you like the contents of this video, Please like it. Let's go to the content. First of all, I recommend you to watch one of my videos. Its name is A Structure of Lipids in the Cell Membrane. And you can see its address in top of this page. Okay, phospholipids have four movements in the cell membrane. Lateral diffusion, rotation, flexion, and transverse diffusion. The first movement is lateral diffusion. In this movement, the phospholipid moves around in one leaflet. The speed of this movement is rapid and is frequent. The second movement is rotation. In this movement, the phospholipid rotates on its axis. The speed of this movement is rapid and it's frequent. The third movement is flexion. In this movement, fatty acid of the phospholipid bend and straighten. The speed of this movement is rapid and it's frequent too. The fourth movement is transverse diffusion. In this movement, the phospholipids move between both leaflets. The speed of this movement is very slow and it's rare. It's called flip-flop 2 and it allows the membrane asymmetry to be maintained. There are three enzymes that catalyze phospholipid movement in transverse diffusion. Flipase moves phospholipid from extracellular side to intracellular side. It predominantly transports phosphatidyl serine and phosphatidyl ethanol amine. And it's ATP independent process. Flopase. Flopase moves phospholipid from intracellular side to extracellular side. It predominantly transports phosphatidylcholine and sphancomyelin. It's ATP dependent process. And escremblase. Escremblase moves phospholipid from extracellular side to intracellular side and intracellular side to extracellular side. It's calcium activated ATP independent process. Thank you for watching. Please give me a comment and tell me what topics you would like to be presented in this cafe. In the next video, I will talk about another biomedical topics in a simple, classified, and summarized form. Until the next video, bye.